Hello friends, fix it. Why we built this game? We built this game to get the players familiarized with the concept of air pollution. Air pollution, as everybody knows, is the most burning issue of the present times. The main objective of the game is to not only get the players familiarized with the concept of air pollution, but also to let them know ki what are the causes and in what way they can reduce the air pollution. So here in this game, the players will take different roles. Like a player can be a politician, another one could be a developer, another one could be a farmer or a common citizen and so on. Everybody has their own interest. So in addition to meeting their own interest, looking after their own interest, they have to also think about the interest of the community also, where they and their family and their own near and dears are going to live. So they want the air of the place where they live to be clean and neat and breathable. So in order to achieve this objective, they'll have to compromise by moving around different elements of the game here and there, okay, so that in the process, in the end, they can build a better city. So that's the main objective of the game. Thank you very much. When you open this box, you will find some cards, tokens and tiles, which you should understand well so that you can play the game easily. Inside the box, you will find two AQI meters, 69 city tiles and one GPO tile. Air quality index meter will depict the level of pollution in the city. There are six pollution levels. Each level is represented with a different color. Each color has a corresponding AQI value depicted on the AQI meter. If the AQI level moves towards red, your city is polluted. If it moves down towards the green, it means less pollution. The AQI meter will also tell you whether you win or you lose the game. The GPO tile is the main component for starting the game. And it is the only tile that doesn't have any AQI or color associated with it. This game also has city tiles, which include hospitals, road, schools, markets, etc. Each city tile along with the image of the tile has a squared line of one of the six colors from the AQI meter present on it. This color represents the impact of particular tile has on the AQI. For example, a dark green city tile will bring down the AQI by two notches as its corresponding value is minus 2. Similarly, a dark red city tile will increase the AQI by 4 notches. There are 24 vote tokens and 8 identity cards. Each player needs to play a role in the game and identity cards define those roles and interests of the players. There are 2 vote tokens for each identity and they will help you vote for the tile you wish to use in the game to build your city. There are 8 wind direction tokens also. Player need to choose a wind direction at the beginning of the game. This wind direction will remain constant and you cannot change during the gameplay. Now let us talk about pollution and solution tokens. There is a total of 20 pollution tokens and 20 solution tokens. There are 54 pollution cards. These cards represent the challenges that city face related to air pollution. Each pollution card offers up to 4 actions. Number 1. A rise in the AQI. A pollution card can increase the AQI of the city. A card will tell you how many notches up you have to take on the AQI meter. Number 2. 
add a pollution token. The pollution token represents the lingering and long-term effect of the air pollution in the city. Two pollution tokens equal one notch rise in the AQI meter. Number three, gain or lose a vote. Pollution card can lead to identities gaining or losing a vote. If your identity loses voting power, the player loses the ability to choose a solution card and the subsequent city tile vote in the next round. Number four, add, remove, flip or replace a city tile. The pollution card can impact the city by adding, removing, flipping or replacing a city tile. 40 solution cards bring solutions in the form of monitoring, greening and energy transition that players can choose from to improve the city's air quality. Each solution card offers up to 5 actions. Number 1. A decrease in the AQI. A solution card can decrease the AQI of the city. The card will tell you how many notches you have to take the AQI meter down. Number 2. Add a solution token. A solution token represents the effect of implementing mitigation strategies for air pollution. One solution token equals one notch decrease in the AQI meter. The solution token is to be placed on the impact tile. Some important points while using solution cards. If there are two or more tokens, place one on the impact tile and the rest around the impact tile depending on the wind direction. If there is already a solution token on the impact tile, do not add another solution token. Instead, just lower the AQI by a notch. Unlike pollution tokens, solution tokens do not move in the direction of the wind. They remain static. Number 3. Remove a pollution token. A solution card can remove a pollution token. The card will tell you how many pollution tokens to remove from the city. Number 4. Gain or lose a vote. Solution cards can impact identities to lose a vote. If your identity loses a voting power, the player loses the ability to choose a solution card in the round and the subsequent city tile vote in the next round. Number 5. Add, remove, flip or replace a city tile. The solution card can impact the city by adding, removing, flipping or replacing a city tile. Inside the box, there are five challenge cards with the name and pictures of four cities and one village. If you want, you can start the game as shown in the challenge card or from unit one, that is GPO. The back of the challenge card has instructions and pictures on building the rest of the city. We will discuss these cards later on. There will be a total of eight rounds in the game and the game can be played by at least four or a maximum of eight people simultaneously. The game can be played in three ways. Let us know how we can play this game using the first way. Each player takes out one card from the identity card deck and takes out two vote tokens according to their identity. Randomly take six tiles from the city tile deck. Place them around the GPO and keep rest of the city tiles face down on the table. Choose a wind direction token and place it on the GPO tile. The city tile has a square colored line on it. Set the AQI according to that color. Then we have a highway orange color. Plus two, that means we one. Have minus. Plus one. No, plus one. Then we have a public park green color. Like plus one minus, minus one is zero. zero. Then we have a solar power plant green color. Minus one. Then we have a large scale industry red. Maroon. Plus four. Huh. So it's three. 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 Then we have a yellow metro color. Plus four. one. Huh. That's it. So, so one, we are on the two, four. three, four. four. Guys, I am a common person, I am a man. So my action is, green cities are better for citizens. Use your vote to include each of these tiles in your city. So these are the tiles which I have to include in the city. And my power would be, your vote is your power, so vote wisely. So I am a builder. 
so my action would be build the city its infrastructure and its sites guys i am an industrialist so my card is politician power to the people action expected from my card my profile play the balancing act between development and environment use your vote to include each of these tiles in your city so there are five tiles which i am going to use power win the popularity of the common persons and have them vote with you if you implement all of the above city tiles you can determine the future of the city all the players read their identity cards and vote for any two tile out of the five tiles as per their requirement public park already public park already hello one city ke liye power na se In each round, open the timer on your phone and be mindful that discussion cannot exceed two minutes. The players who voted the most for the two city tiles. will decide where those tiles will be placed in building the city set the aqi meter according to the colors of the city tiles so we three increase three 1 2 3 three over the first three rounds player must build city in the same way this happens when a fresh set of five city tiles from the deck are open faced up in each round After three rounds, we will use pollution cards and solution cards. Okay, so now we have completed three rounds of building the city, okay. city tiles, Bala. Now, Nigam has to shuffle these pollution cards, and we will select the topmost. One player will pick up the deck of pollution cards and shuffle it, and choose the topmost card. Okay, so this is pollution card. It's been written over high-rise housing complex and agricultural land. प्लस फोर हमें टोकन ये चाहिए पॉल्यूशन टोकन आर प्लस फोर आप सब देख सकते हो ठीक है प्लस फोर है और यहाँ पर ट्राइंगुलर साइन है प्लस टू का रिमेम्बर दैट पॉल्यूशन टोकन आर इक्वल टू हाफ अ नॉच ऑन द एक मीटर इंक्रीजिंग द मीटर ओनली वेन देर आर टू फोर और सिक्स पॉल्यूशन टोकन ऑन द टेबल पॉल्यूशन टोकन ऑल्सो मूव विद द विंड डायरेक्शन Set the AQI meter according to pollution token on the left side and the triangular sign on the right side of the card. Read and follow the instruction on the card. AQI meter पर plus two लिखा हुआ है। तो two आ जाएगा। हाँ, two add तो two one plus one two। और जो हमारे token हैं, नहीं, नहीं, अभी हमारे जो token हैं, मतलब दो token मतलब plus one। तो उसका मतलब हमारे पास चार token हैं, तो plus two और two में If there is a sign of decreasing, increasing or replacing a city tile, you must follow it. The players can gain or lose a vote as instructed on a pollution card. If your identity voting power is lost, the player loses the ability to choose a solution card and cannot choose a city tile in the next round. Common person or farmers a vote nahi kar sakte hain. कौन कौन है कौन कौन तो तो ये तीनों लोग वोट नहीं कर सकते मतलब दोनों में टेक थ्री कार्ड फ्रॉम इट एंड प्लेस दे टेबल 
Now the players will vote for any two solution cards. The solution cards which get most of the votes will be selected. Set the AQI meter according to the solution token on the left side and the triangular sign on the right side of the card. Read and follow the instruction on the card. Minus one. 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 Minus one.
Pick up the top 5 tiles from the city tile deck and place them face up for the players to vote and build the city. You are now all set to play the game. Answers to situations you may face while playing this game. What if a game without identity cards being played? Each player randomly chooses two voting tokens to make their vote for the city tiles and solution cards. What if there is a tie of votes? The players must re-vote. If it is a tie again, the players must add all the city tiles that had a tie of votes. What if the tile which needs to be added is already present in the city? If the pollution or solution card asks you to add a tile that is already present in the city, the players do not have to add the tile. What if a pollution card whose impact tile is not present in the city comes up? The players must put the card back at the bottom of the deck and pick up the next top card from it. What if a game without identity cards is in a play and a pollution or solution cards comes up whose only impact is on the vote of the identities and no other action has been given? The players must put back the card at the bottom of the deck and pick up the next top card from it. What if a pollution token is already present on the tile where a solution token needs to be placed? The players must remove the pollution token and place the solution token instead. What if a solution token is already present on the tile where a pollution token needs to be placed? The players must remove the pollution token and place the solution token instead. What if a solution token is already present on the tile where another solution token needs to be placed? Adjust the AQI for the additional solution token, however, do not place it on the same tile as there cannot be more than one solution token on a tile.